is the Twitter here today and we're bringing you some Pokemon Sun and Moon news and info so today it's late right now but today they released some Pokemon Sun and Moon info and um a trailer and the trailer is really really ridiculous I saw it this morning early this morning I would have had a live reaction to it but I'm gonna go over the trailer again and I'm gonna tell you what you guys what I think about it it looks really really good I hope my recording app is taking up my voice hopefully it is because I hope it's not gonna like act like I didn't record um this but i guess i'm gonna keep some sound on the video um hopefully it's not too loud maybe you guys can't even hear it uh, i don't know um but yeah like here's here's some new pokemon we have type null which is a really interesting pokemon um look at the look at just look at this thing it just has like a gar it looks like it has a gyarados tail um i really like it i really like it, it looks like it has a gyarados tail and it has like a body of maybe like uh, Zygarde 10%, you know how the dog is, and it has, it has those purple little crystal things on the on the left, I mean on the right side of his body, in the back. Um, and it looks like it has two Skarmory feet in the front, that's all I could really gather from this. It has like a gladiator, it reminds me of a gladiator helmet, or even people comparing this to Arceus. So weird, but like, it looks like a gladiator's helmet that's on its head right now. Really cool design. Um, it looks like a Chimera thing, like it was spliced, and it's, um, Type Null is the name of this Pokemon. And normal ability, it's normal and its ability is battle armor. And next up we have Jang Jang Mo Mo Jang Mo -o. Jang Mo -o? Jang Mo -o. Dragon type and its ability is bulletproof and soundproof. I really believe that this is actually the pseudo legendary. Uh, people were thinking Dronpa was, but no. And next up we have Radicate and of course the Alolan forms. So this is obviously confirming everything about the other Alolan forms with uh like um what was it? Uh, Alolan Marowak having a Alolan Cubone. Basically, so yeah, and it has gluttony and whatever else it had. I don't remember. Um, but we do see Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are set 12 hours apart, which is really freaking interesting. And certain events will play out differently. So this is what I'm really um, interested in. Um, so what people were saying about this was certain events will play out differently. So because it's day and night. They were saying so. Some people think that uh, in Pokemon Moon it's gonna be constantly night. No, I don't think that's that's the that's the thing. I think since this is 12 hours apart, we're gonna be having just Sun and Moon. We're gonna have both. We're gonna have both in one game, obviously. But this is another interesting. That um, welcome to Ether Paradise, the Ether Foundation, Lusamine. I gotta go. I'm gonna go over this trailer again after this. But she's an interesting character. I love the art for her. She looks awesome. She's the president of the Aether Foundation, and this is Faba, Aether's branch chief. Um. And this is sort of scientist. Wiki, a lot of people are starting to call her Thicky because she's pretty thick, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she does there, but I'm gonna I have to reread what they are doing. Aether Foundation employees look friggin' sick. I don't know if you guys ever watched the anime the anime air gear, but yeah, they look dope. They remind me of them. And Team Skull's enforcer Gladion. Look at that pose. Everyone's been going crazy about this Sasuke Chidori thing he's been doing. So he's like supposed to be like the badass. And I think he's actually supposed to be a rival as well. Also, we have to search for um Zygarde cells and cores in the Lola region. So this also ties in the whole thing about why Zygarde is in Alola. We got Dexio and Cena from um, X and Y who were the professor's assistants, um, uh, Professor Sycamore's assistants. And we can also take photos um, with the Pokefinder. We taking photos of Snap with the Pokefinder. This is really sudden. Came out of nowhere. And I like the idea because I might take Pokemon Snap. It really reminds me of Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap was for um originally for Nintendo 64 and it has ever been remade from since then. But this is looking so cool. Like look at this dragon like just flying around and like whoever where, where are you in that? Where are you? And the thing that everyone is um talking about the most is a mysterious threat known as Ultra Beast. So now looking at this is really interesting because that I don't even know if that's considered a Pokemon, but looking at that, that thing, that thing, I don't know, that thing is looking like something, it looks like a person, people are saying that looks like Lily, so Lily does have the secret, she has a secret and that has to do with it, maybe that's what it is, people are saying that's what's in her bag, I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to say that that actually, that Ultra Beast is actually Lily herself, I'm gonna actually think that that's her. I don't know if she has the Pokemon inside her bag. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's not her. But for some reason, it looks a lot like her. People are saying it has something to do with her and that it, she has it and she uses it. I'm just like, that might actually be her. Because the description, which I'm gonna go over um, on the Pokemon Sun and Moon website in a very few, in a very few minutes, um, that 
it's actually take it takes forms of things shapes so I have a feeling that that actually is her it's called UB01 so we're gonna go over this trailer again we're gonna go right from the beginning we're gonna break it down so new discoveries on a Lola as we saw before oh lord advertisement so we already went over type null the best way we could and gladion seems to have type null some people are saying that this could be a legendary i don't know if it's going to be really like a, a random legendary in the region it really doesn't feel like it is it's supposedly a man-made pokemon as well and we still we saw it just now i think using try attack um this guy looks amazing jang mo jang mo -o. i love him i love how he's looking or her it could be a female or male who knows i like all these pokemon that have been revealed so far in this trailer the Loman Raticate was is this looks like that thing has chubbier cheeks than friggin' um what's it called? That new Pokemon that it's another one. It was a steel it was a, electric and steel type. I have I haven't even seen that Pokemon for so long. Um it was another rodent type Pokemon where it was electric and steel. Um something Maru. Something Maru. He has chubby cheeks. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon are set 12 hours apart. Now, this is what I want to talk about mostly a little bit on this subject. People are thinking that you're not gonna have this, I, like people think for some reason that it's gonna be entirely morning in one game, entirely night in one game. That may be the that may be the reason why it is separate like this. But it says 12 up there. They're set 12 hours apart. So just because they set 12 hours apart, it doesn't mean that you will never see the sun. You know. So I'm guessing that you start off like if I'm getting moon. First of all, I want to get both, but I'm gonna get moon for my personally for myself so I can play because I love the moon. I love nighttime, but also I love the sun too. But I'm for um just for myself personal play, I'll probably get moon. Um, hopefully by then I everything's set up on my desktop and I have my capture card going because I'm gonna have an LP on the channel with that hopefully but um 12 hours apart doesn't mean you won't have the sun in your game and if it does turn out to have just only straight up just nighttime and moon in Pokemon moon then well there we go then we have to find somebody that has sun I have plenty of friends that are playing Pokemon too so it doesn't matter we'll have whatever we have to do we could get trades and whatever um, but that, that's dope though it's, it's they've never done this before it's set 12 hours apart because of the game that you have so I guess like say you got it at 3 o'clock p.m. I wonder if that means 3 o'clock p.m. But does that mean it's going to be 3 o'clock in the morning in their game, in the sun game? And it's going to be 3 o'clock actual p.m. in my game? And then as time moves on, it'll just turn morning. But it'll be kind of like separate in a sense because it's th it's night it's night in my game. And then it's actually night in real life. But in their game, it's in the morning because of the game that they chose. That's going to be a very interesting concept. All right, so we're going to keep going. And we do see that they said certain events play out differently. So it's like exclusive totem Pokemon, I guess you could say. It's exclusive totem Pokemon. So maybe in certain cases, you'll see uh, a Lone Eradicate instead of um, a Gumshoes. So that's another funny thing about that. Those two totem, po those two being totems because there's a meme going around about it. Um, it was be funny, but I'm not going to get into it right now because that's not what the video is about. But anyway, we have introducing the, introducing the Aether Foundation. The Aether Foundation looks to be like some sort of um obviously some sort of organization that i guess they were saying that protects pokemon from team skull but they look kind of shady in their own way even though they look all nice and they're just in white this can be deceiving i don't know it looks really cool it looks cool though it looks cool they look really all of them look really interesting i love the um two assistants at the end they look freaking dope like their pockets they have a whole bunch of pockets and stuff and yeah it looks like they could be wearing like air gear stuff i don't know if you, if you guys have never seen air gear the anime like check it out they look like air gear like characters right now it looks sick i love it um, so I guess the president is Lusamine. People have been comparing her a bit to Lusandre because Lusa, Lusamine, they have the same L. Lusamine or Lusamine. I think it's Lusamine. She looks like she's ready to go, like, go perform. She looks like she's Lady Gaga or something. I don't know what she's trying to be, but I love the art, honestly. I love how, I love what they're doing with their art. They're not afraid to, like, you know, make different styles. She looks really dope. And it feels like this is where Lily came from. Like, she could be related to Lily or maybe not. Maybe Lily is from them. Because li I, oh my God, there's so much to talk about. I, I have to make another video separate. I wanna, I'll, I wanna see if I can get somebody in a chat with me because there's so much to talk about for this game. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And this, um, this app looks like it's having its own issue. Yeah, this app looks like it's having its own issue. So we're gonna make sure that we can get this back up and running real quick. Yeah, so we got it back up and running. Um. So she's the she's the glamorous president apparently of the Aether Corporation. She's the Aether Foundation. So she's the president. And what I want to do is look at what she's saying. So welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. So this is probably that white island that we've seen that looks that's man-made. I would be like a mother to all of those poor Pokemon and shower them with what? Shower them with love, I guess she said. And shower them with love. 
and there's a wiki behind her. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Huh, distant worlds. Faba. Fabo or Faba? Faba. Like Faja. Like Father. I don't know. <laughs> Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable, a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats afar that floats a, that, that floats far out in the, in the what in the sea out in the sea surrounding Alola okay it is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protecting of Pokemon whoa we keep Pokemon that have been targeted this is a wiki we have we keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here and we also try to support Pokemon need a little extra protection Team Skull give back that Pokemon and these are the employees of the foundation and they're trying to make sure that they don't steal Pokemon. And Team Skull's enforcer, Gladion, this guy looks like he's about, like he's an enforcer. So maybe you're gonna see him throughout the region a little bit more than often. I feel like he's like your rival in this game. I wonder if he is your rival. Um, and look at his clothing. It looks like they're ter it looks like he's torn up, like he got ripped. Yeah, like he got ripped up. Like his clothes look like it's supposed to be ripped, but they have a zip. They're zippers. They're actually zippers. You can zip them closed. The, the wounds. It looks like it's supposed to be wounded. He looks like he's supposed to be wounded in some way. Um, I like what he's wearing. I love his. I love his outfit. But he's going in. He looks so edgy. Look at his character. Just crazy. Look. Look at his eyes. I love what they're doing with the characters. He's just like, uh. He's he's so good for everybody. And these are what made up the Zyger uh, cores. So you get the cube and the cube for collecting. You use how you find. You use it. You get the you get the cores by collecting them and you put them in the cube. I'm gonna guess that it helps you find Zyger in the end after you find all the cores. Um. But we'll look into more details on the website. And we got Pokemon Snap going ham. We got Pokemon Snap going ham. And it's like people can comment on your pictures online too. Yeah, and you get thumbs up. You get your record is thumbs up. You get you get you have like a high, oh uh, like I guess like a high score. And a mysterious threat Ultra Beast again. Like this is really interesting. Like UB01 Ultra Beast one. And a lot of people are saying it looks just like Lily. And of course it really does. Is this her secret or just like? A way to like throw us off. She is. This is gonna be a very interesting game because this is one of the Ultra Beasts, only one. Now, as you guys know, I saw, I saw a trailer, Japanese trailer, um, on, on um, this trailer for this trailer, but it was a Japanese version of it, and it had so much more to offer. And what they were showing was insane. It was like. Oh, I don't even know how to, exp how, to, how to explain it. You guys have to find this. Uh, I'm going to see if I can link it. I'm going to link it in my description. I shouldn't get in trouble for that. Um, I have to link it in my description. Honestly, I have to link it in my description. So I can show you guys what I saw. It was amazing. It was The whole trailer was crazy. I'm going to link it in my description down below. After you guys watching this video, check it out. The Japanese trailer like shows so much. It shows so much more in depth. And the music is crazy too. It shows different music. They have different music. I guess for the Ether Foundation, they had their own music as well. And I think um, when you fight Glendion, I think his name is Glendion, um, the badass who thinks he's like Sasuke, um, they they have they have um, a theme for him. And his theme sounds really cool. I think that's his theme. And if you don't know who Sasuke is, he's from he's a character from um, an anime called Naruto. So you guys can go check that out too if you guys want. Um, so just so you can know what I'm talking about, it's the pose that he's doing. Just reminds everyone of an attack. So everyone's been referencing it online all all day long today. So. Um, yeah, so we see that every serious beast there is the Alola region. In the Alola region, there are flying about there are rumors flying about mysterious creatures known as Ultra Beast. Ultra Beast possesses mighty powers and could pose a threat to humans and Pokemon. They are feared. It appears that if the Foundation is also conducting research on these Ultra Beasts, according to rumor, multiple Ultra Beasts exist. Each of them called by a code name. Is their code name UBO? Is that the UB, the Ultra Beast one? Is that their code name? No, more like I feel like Lily is a code name for UB1. Mm. So body UB1's body is composed of a glass-like substance. However, it's constantly changing shapes, never settling. I don't see the constantly changing of shapes. While evidence of something like a survival instinct can be observed in UB01, no one knows whether it is if it has a will of its own or any emotions. It's said that for some reason its movements resemble those of a young girl. So maybe it's like glass, like they said it. So maybe it reflects what it sees. So maybe it saw Lily and it reflected off of that and it started to act like a girl. Or maybe 
Lily is actually the Ultra Beast one. That might be a thing. And can we catch Ultra Beast is really the question. I don't think, I don't know if that'll be a thing. Ultra Beast are, are, are Ultra Beast Pokemon? They're mysterious creatures. Are they, do they count as Pokemon? I don't, that's the thing. I don't know. So I want to get more in depth and I'm going to have another video about this. Um, also, my friend sent me some screenshots about other things connecting with this with this arm um, game as well. Just a whole bunch of con coincidental things that have been passed down in other generation of the other Pokemon generation games that are seem that seem too fitting for this just to be like a really big coincidence. So we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll see what's actually going on sooner or later. Um, hopefully, people like ask Game Freak these questions because I'm wondering if that's what their plan is. You know, to have everything intersect and just you know come together. I and then we have Professor Sycamore's two assistants again they're back here and they were studying Mega Evolution before with Professor Sycamore and now they're here trying to find Zygarde could that mean that there's something else more to do with Kalos in this region can we go to Kalos maybe we go to Kalos I don't know tell you guys what your opinions are and what you think leave me some feedback down in the section below tell me what you guys are doing about the video but for now I'm gonna get out of here my pleasure check out like mine like it in front of you right destroy do whatever you want with it just don't hit the dislike button because I'm gonna be really sad if you do but with that I'm out of here I thank you guys so much for watching and taking the time out of your day with that I'm out Bye!